Hey everybody, happy Monday and welcome back to my channel. I am that doll guy with a brand new doll review. It's been a minute since I've actually reviewed a doll, so I figured, you know what, we have a special occasion because I came across out in the wild at a Walmart in Saginaw, uh, Michigan, found this Barbie Extra. Um, she is one of the newer ones. I don't even know if she has a number, but if you guys know if this gal has a number, please share in the comments below. I just call it the Barbie Extra Deluxe Set because I she's got extra stuff. She has 30 plus looks. So found her and thought, you know what? I'm going to do a review on this gal. I have the entire first wave. Looking forward to the second. They haven't gotten here yet, but this gal somehow made her way here. <clears throat> there are two on the shelf and um, the other one had wonky eyes. This gal seems perfect, but she seems to have like... Maybe kind of some kind of like dot on her eyebrow. So hopefully it's just a piece of dust debris because her face is really nice. We'll get to the hair in a minute. But let's talk about this doll. So the packaging is awesome. She's in kind of like a, a weird wheel or like a weird bubble. And I was like, I don't understand anything of what's going on. Like, I don't understand like what this is. I don't understand what this is. I, I've seen pictures on Instagram. Um... But um, I wasn't sure about this packaging. So let's kind of look at it. We have these move these movement arrows up and down. I was like, what are those? So as I was coming home, I noticed that she has these little kind of grippers on each side of the packaging. So <clears throat> what these are is you can spin, you know, I guess if, you know, if you're trying to decide if you want her or just for the fun of it, you can spin these wheel things and look at the different looks available one of the things i liked when i first saw this um, doll was like the kitty cat kind of motif so she has um kind of like a i don't know that's a halter top i don't know what that is but um a cute little top with kittens on it um um a tank top with like some printed on or uh, what's that called um Oh, kind of iron on, <laughs> kind of decal, whatever, heat 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 set on, whatever that is where mm, it's on the shirt. I don't know. Anyway, um, so anyway, so we can look at the different looks and there's like the kitten, kitten shirt. She has like that could either probably be like a belt or like a headband. And look at these sunglasses. They kind of look like they could be almost like kitty cat sunglasses, like cat eyes. Oh, that was cute. Some shiny pink. I think those are pants. And then like, I don't know if that's a skirt, a mini skirt, or if that's like a skirt for the for her pet, her little cat, which um, is one of the Siamese cats from one of the first wave. Um, who had the cats? Can't remember the number, but she had the, I think she had the, she had the blue hair, the blue hair gal with the freckles. She had two cats, Siamese cats. Anyway, so <clears throat> we have um, some kind of like meshy, gauzy kind of overskirt. Purple shoes. So it's a mix and match set that you get. Uh, a, cat, a cat ear headband, which would match that top. <clears throat> and a mirror, which like has no reflectivity to it. That's kind of cheap. Like, it's just a sticker. It's like a blue sticker that looks like a reflection. It's not even metallic. It's not even fake. It's, they don't even try to, like, make it, like, make, 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 make it be functional. But that's okay. That's not why we bought her anyway. So when we turn around the packaging, here's the various looks we can do. So I'll be interested to kind of take this out and kind of see what, if I can replicate some of this. So... The skirt can turn into like a big, I don't know if it's a poncho or shawl, I don't know what that is. <clears throat> Here she has like a little cat costume with the glasses and mini skirt and I mean kind of some wild funky looks. Some of the pieces we've seen before on other mix and match play sets from earlier um, eras, but you know, what was old is new again, is that how the saying goes? And here's some other looks, too. So, I mean, you know, it is what it is. I mean, it's meant to be um, garish. It's meant to be over the top and bright and colorful. And this is definitely all those things. 
I can't help but feel maybe it's a little, like some of the pieces are just like a little bit dated. Like we've seen these shoes before. We've seen that necklace before. So there's just like a lot of things we've seen before, but I guess it's in how you work it. And if you are a fan of some of these earlier looks, like the nostalgia of it, then you'll like this. Cause it brings back to memory, like I said, of other mix and match sets I've had in the past. <clears throat> but nothing is truly groundbreaking here, but she's cute. So let's turn her around again. We're going to take her out of the box and kind of get a closer look. But in the box, she has that dreaded box hair that I just, oh, I just dread. And that hairstyle, I, I like to tidy up my dolls and pull like flyaways out and tidy them up a little bit. But I don't know. This hairstyle is so complicated. I don't know if there's going to be any tidying this up. But we'll see. But uh, she's really cute. I really like all the jewelry and stuff. And so we're going to bust her out. And I just, I hate to almost ruin the packaging. But we got to see how she looks. And we'll see if I can, if hopefully that little mark on her eyebrow is just a piece of dust. It just, my OCD makes it bug me. But one thing initially that I'll tell you that I like is this green eyeshadow and the blue eyes. And the pink lip. It just all works. I've always had a fondness for green sh eyeshadow on dolls because you never see it. But anyway, let's take her out of the box and see how she looks. Okay, so I wasn't going to do this, but I'm going to show you by the behind the, behind the scenes of this unboxing. <clears throat> Usually these unboxings are just obnoxious because, the, especially these extra dolls, there's so much to tear these boxes apart. But I wanted to show you guys that this... Um, this wheel of clothes was attached to this spoke somehow some way i don't know oh there it is oops <laughs> there's the hole and then there's like anyway there's this in here so it's um oh and then it would attach into she's in her own kind of separate section of the box she's kind of cellophane in like a second layer and then this was um in her back, it's kind of holding her on the thing, which wouldn't have been too much of a stretch just to include like a stand and make that be part of a doll stand. But anyway, so it's kind of holding her in this, this other layer of plastic separate from these fashions. So whatever you thought was um, a difficult challenge to open before, just got twice as challenging. <laughs> anyway, I just want to show you guys this part of the unboxing. So we still have another layer to kind of crack open to get her out. So we'll be back in a second. So we have got this lovely lady out of her box. So let's dive in. Here's her face. Luckily, that thing on her eyebrow just, it wasn't what I thought it was. It was something that just kind of wiped away, so that was good. Anyway, my OCD is happy. <clears throat> my OCD is not happy with this hair, though. Total box hair. It's going to need a little bit of work, but I like the color of the hair. I really like what they're trying to do with this weird, divided um, bun. <laughs> I can appreciate what they're trying to do with it. It just... Um, probably needs some consistency. I'm sure all the gals are going to have a funny, messy bun. I'm not sure I'm going to try to tidy up a little bit, but we're going to try. We'll see. <clears throat> I'll post photos on my Instagram once I get her figured out. But she definitely needs some work in the hair department. Um, but these are pretty. These tendrils are pretty. She came out of the box just as, you know, maybe like a little bit easier than normal than most dolls, which was surprising. Just a few rubber bands, a few plastic kind of rubbery strap things. <clears throat> but um, anyway, so her earrings are gold hearts, but her necklace is silver. <laughs> and I know you can mix and match those, but I like them to match a little bit more. This top is like a multi kind of weird heart divided, I don't know, kind of like a half and half type top different textures, different colors. And then we've seen this fuzzy kind of skirt before on a different fashion pack for fashionistas. I mean, not it exactly, but kind of it. Um, if you hear a chihuahua crying in the background, that is my grand puppy, Rosie. She thinks she had some puppies, but she didn't. They're just her dog toys and she thinks they're her babies. But let's look at the, what's at, what makes her extra? Well, her hair makes her extra. Her necklace makes her extra. She has an extra silver watch bracelet and a white, what is that? Braided, a white braided bracelet. <clears throat> and this purse, which we've seen quite a bit. 
and these shoes we've seen before. They're cute. They look extra. These used to be out on the original like 2012 Fashionista. So that's how far back we're going with these shoes. But this kitten is cute. I think the one that the other um, Barbie extra came with when she came with the two Siamese were white. And this guy is kind of gray. He's cute. I, even though he's we've already had him, he's cute. His little collar. I don't think the other ones have a collar. But anyway, so yeah, she's cute. I like her face. I like her green eyeshadow. I like her blue eyes. And I like that pink lip. It's a little bit glossy. What's interesting about, talk about off-center video videography. What I like about some of these dolls, though, is you'll see some come with a matte lip, some come with a glossy lip. They just, they just, you have little variants here and there. Some are more high color than others, and I feel like I got, I lucked out with this one. Of only having two available, <clears throat> I was glad that this is the one I grabbed. The other one, like I said, she was just a little bit wonky-eyed, and her makeup wasn't as thick and bright but this gal she speaks to me i think she's a keeper if that thing in the eyebrow would have been more than what it was it was just like you know her paint just looks funny in the eyebrow but if it would have been a defect my ocd would have been like okay we're going to take this girl back and get a different one <laughs> but there are no more to be had in our town i'm sure they're going to come out soon i haven't looked at any release dates for this gal because i didn't expect her to be out i was kind of surprised to see her usually on facebook um on the barbie groups I'm always like the last in Michigan to get anything. So the fact that this gal surprised me was a surprise. Here is our Wheel of Fashion. We've already kind of seen it. The disc is reflective. I don't know how these are attached on. Oh. Bands and stuff. So here's a closer look at the fashions that she ooh, you can mix and match. The only thing I like is the kitten stuff, I'll be honest. The pants, and eh, whatever. I'm not sure if that's supposed to, I don't know what that is. If that's a skirt, I don't know what that is. And that's nothing great. Those shoes, I don't like that shade of purple. I'm sounding all negative, but really all I like is just the cat stuff. Where's her black skirt? Is that on underneath? Okay, that's underneath, but I thought she was coming with a black skirt. The photo showed a black skirt. I don't know where that is. I thought the back of the packaging showed a black skirt. Huh. Well, that's a mystery. I wonder if I got... I wonder if I'm missing something. I don't know. Didn't the back of the box have a have a black skirt? I'll have to double check. It's in, it's tore up it's in the garbage. So I might have to do some garbage picking and see where the black skirt is. I could have swore there's a black skirt on the back of the box. But, you know, this just is only... Eh. Eh, you know, it's not whatever anyway i feel like this doll she's so like her face is so pretty and again i like what they're trying to do with the hair i feel like the doll is too good for the thing she comes with but he's cute but uh, and i like the shoes even though they're old i like them and i like the necklace and i like the earrings i think the, like the mix and match thing with like the gold and silver is cool i wish she would have had maybe more bracelets i think that would have been nice and i don't know maybe just some jewelry over here would have been nice. I don't know where my black skirt is. <laughs> that was supposed to go, that'd be cute with like the kitty thing. But anyway, so I feel like she's cute. I would, oh, and she also retails for like 29 something. She came with, after tax in Michigan, 6%, like $31 and change. So um, f f basically five or six bucks more than the regular Barbie extras. Um, you get all the same stuff, but you just get like a few more pieces of clothing with her. Clothing that's not going to really, in my opinion, super wow you, but, you know, at least you know. So, she's cute. I think she'd be cuter in some other cutting edge things that you might be able to find out there. Maybe mix and match pieces from the other extras. Um, maybe, like, she look cute with some stuff from the old My Scene. Um... And, I mean, I don't think, I don't know if they just to make Sparkle Girls outfits, but she might look cute in some of their fashions, too. Because they were kind of cutting edge, I think. This isn't super cutting edge to me. It's just, I don't know what this is. But, not to be negative, I'm not trying to be. Because she's cute. I like her. I just feel like she's too good for what she's wearing. And I don't know where my black skirt is. I thought it was on the back of the box. I am going to double check. 
comment below if I'm missing anything on this video, um, if you guys have her or if you've seen her. And uh, I hope you guys enjoy your day. Um, tune in soon for more doll unboxings, more doll reviews as they come out. Um, and you guys have a great Monday night. Stay safe. Enjoy the rest of the week. And by the, weekend, by the time the weekend comes, we can all have a little bit of fun. So have a great night. Okay, so I had to come back for the encore part of my video. So yeah, I'm missing the black skirt. Yes, I garbage picked. It wasn't nasty. <laughs> but yeah, the picture show the black skirt. When I look at my fashion wheel, there's some unpunctured. There's four unpunctured, four or five unpunctured parts here. So I think they didn't give me my black skirt. And that's the only thing that's kind of cool on. I mean, I don't know. It's it's not great, but I think it's like one of the cooler parts of this outfit. So now I'm bummed. So what do I do, you guys? Do I contact Mattel or do I just let it go? Or what do I do to get my black skirt? How do I get it? Oh, now that bugs my OCD. I took this off because I thought maybe it's hiding. And, you know, with this off, I mean, this is kind of cute now. <laughs> it's kind of cuter with than with it on. But anyway, so this bugs me. I just... Ugh. Now I'm going to be kind of bummed. So anyway, if you guys know how I can get, get Mattel to give me a free black skirt, let me know in the comments below. Thank you. <laughs>